Hey guys, Z here, and I am talking about the end of Season 7. May it long rest in peace. Now, Season 7 is supposed to be over today, and then there's going to be a one-week hiatus with no seasons whatsoever, and then we'll be back on the 21st for Season 8. Now, I wanted to talk about, real briefly, because I've already covered most of it, my journey in Season 7. In my videos, I made a Barbarian, I made a Crusader, I made the Monk, I made a Witch Doctor, and I made a Demon Hunter. The character I got the furthest with was the Witch Doctor. I got to a Greater Rift 74 clear. I could not, for the life of me, clear the 75 to finish the entire season out. It was the only thing I had left. No matter how hard I tried, I could not get that Greater Rift 75 cleared. I tried, believe me. And I actually got really, really close to doing it. The other day I was running a 75 and I was ahead of schedule until about halfway through the, um, the, the bar filling up. I was a little bit over halfway and the timer was around halfway. And then it happened. I started dying left and right over and over. And... The minions take a while to come back, and I can't progress without my minions since it's a minion build. So that was really problematic for me. But anyways, I wanted to talk to you about what is going on with the new season. So the new season is bringing new cosmetic rewards. And what they mean by that is things that look awesome on your character. So they're bringing in a new set of wings. It's Andariel's extra arms off of her back. If you've ever played Diablo 2, she was the Act 1 final boss. And she was a bitch with the poison damage. And she moved around really fast. Um, but it was an awesome fight. But yeah, you can get her wings. And the uh, portrait for your face online is now going to be a pretty demonic looking picture to be honest. If you have done all of the seasonal rewards so far for the extra stash tabs, you will be up to... 10 stash tabs total if you do it in season 8 as well which is a lot of tabs if you want to get that extra tab these are the things you need to complete you need to complete a torment 13 rift in under five minutes you need to complete a greater rift 60 solo you need to kill greed in torment 13 you need to kill azul on torment 13 in under 30 seconds reforge a legendary or set item Augment two ancient items with level 40 or greater legendary gems, level three legendary gems to 55, and complete two conquests. So for the seasonal conquests, you're looking at boss mode is kill the following bosses at max level on Torment 10 within 20 minutes of the start of the game. That's going to be pretty difficult to be honest, unless it's, um, unless it's like only a couple bosses. I don't really know what the list looks like, but if it's like the um, bullshit that they tried to pull with, hey, beat the whole game in one hour or less, yeah, that's going to be really difficult. Another one is reach Greater Rift level 75 solo again. That was the, the bitch that was holding me back in this one. Um, curses is kill 350 or more monsters in a curse chest event at level 70 on Torment 10 difficulty. That will be easy. Years of War reach greater rift level 55 solo with the bonuses of six of the following class sets that's going to be pretty easy for most people because most people play all the classes during a season uh, master eight of the following set dungeons for masters of the universe that's going to be pretty difficult to be honest the, to master eight set dungeons is very difficult i mean it might not be for some people but i know it's difficult for me so hadrick's gift this is the thing that gives you the set pieces as you complete chapters 2, 3, and 4 of the seasonal challenges. Now, keep in mind, it doesn't matter if you're doing hardcore, non-hardcore, any seasonal character, any class. When you complete that chapter 2 and 3 and 4, you want to complete it with the same character so you can get that whole set for the season for free. Otherwise, you're going to get a couple pieces of random pieces of gear and it's not going to really be that helpful. So, for the Barbarian, you have Immortal King's Call this season. For the Crusader, you have Seeker of the Light. For Demon Hunter, Natalia's Vengeance. For the Monk, Uliana's Stratagem. For the Witch Doctor, Spirit of Arachir. And for the Wizard, Veer's Amazing Arcana. 
So definitely a different set than last season. For those of you who are wondering what happens to your gear and your Paragon levels and all that kind of stuff, when a season ends, it just becomes non-seasonal. So it will combine everything you had in your seasonal and your non-seasonal and puts it all together. And you get like a certain amount of days. It, it'll come in the mail kind of like um, your Hadric gift that you got this season with the pieces of gear when you completed a, a chapter. It's going to be the same idea. You can go through it if it's duplicates, you know, and do whatever you feel is necessary. And it combines all the experience you gained with your Paragon levels from your seasonal on top of your non-seasonal. So for me, I think I hit around 750-ish seasonal and about 650-ish non-seasonal. I'll probably be looking at just shy of about 800, which 800 is a big deal in the Paragon scene because that means all three of the uh, secondary tabs that are not the, the primary stat tab will be all maxed out with full 50s. And then it'll just be every level after that will be straight primary stat for me. So that's what we're looking into, guys. I will be covering Season 8 as soon as it begins. Don't you worry. I love me some season. All right, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Later. Later.